Here we are back at Rexall Place one last time for the farewell Rexall clearance sale presented by Ford, previously known as the locker room sale. The event has been going on for 10 years, but since doors opened, it has been the busiest to date. Some told me they skipped work to be here. Others started lining up at 1030 the night before. You guys are front of the line right now. How early did you have to come to get the spot? 10.30 last night. 10.30 p.m. Yep. You see the lineup out there? As long as, long as it can be. We figured we better get here early so we can get first picks. Always an early bird. Yep. Pumped up, ready to go for this thing. This is what I live for. We're from Saskatchewan. We're three hours away. We left this morning at 5 o'clock. We got here at 8 in the lineup, so. I don't know exact numbers, but definitely this is my fifth time doing it, so this is the busiest it's been off the hop, so that's really good to see. I think it's just the, the specialness of it, being the, the final time in the building, and just the ability to buy some a unique item that you can say, you know, I got it at the, the final year at Rexall Place. It's sitting in your man cave now, and you can just kind of enjoy and tell that story year after year, right? We got a couple of yak sticks, got some training shoes that he uses, and uh, helmets, gloves. Probably just keep it home and just look at it. It's beautiful to look at. You have a farewell Rexall banner. Is that important to you to remember this? Yeah, uh, because I saw the banner going down. I was like, I need a copy of that. <laughs> so yeah, I was really excited to get these ones. What do you have here? This is bigger than you. A Teddy Purcell signed oversized picture. I got Oscar Clefbaum's gloves. I'm so happy with that. <laughs> is that why you came? Oh, yes. I really, really wanted a pair of Oilers gloves. They're fantastic. I mean, look, even fit. <laughs> so bad. We've never really opened the locker room like this for, for all public to go in. Usually you had to have some sort of uh, tie to it or there's a donation or something along those lines. I want to take a chance to come back to the building one last time and just see the banners and see the environment and especially get in here. This is like a dream come true for any person or any Oilers fan. Ford is uh, as a main driver of this, that's for sure. Ford also supplies uh, test drives as well, so you can go upstairs and, and the first 200 people that test drive a Ford get a, a piece of plexiglass from the final game uh, at Rexall Place here. have autographs with Mark Latestu, uh, alumni Mark Pissick from Oil Kings and Patty Day, a current roster player as well. Uh, and then at 11.30 we got a special former captain Jason Smith coming in to sign autographs. So uh, there's that touch of the fan base where you get a chance to meet some of the, the players you watch throughout the seasons here uh, as well get a cool item. Oh, it's, it's amazing. I think the support the team has and, and, and the, the ability of the team set it up a situation where people can get access to you know, used equipment, new equipment, whatever it may be, is, is pretty special. And there's obviously a great support base for the team here and hopefully some, some success in the future. Now, if you couldn't make it to the sale, the online auction is still open and will be until June 21st at edmontonoilers.com. Fans can expect a whole new locker room sale next year at Rogers Place, but for now, they're taking in and out what they can of Rexall Place. For Oilers TV, I'm Jessica Kent.